Hi, welcome to the new version of Schmidt Expo 2020. I wish we could all be together with all of the wonderful clinicians from all of the publishers, but you're stuck with me this year. My name is Lorna Woltoff, and I'm happy to show you some of the new issues that have come out over the past year. And a lot of great new things. I have a lot of things to cover in this session. This is piano repertoire, everything from sheets to books, and let's get started. So I'm gonna start with a series that's brand new from Faber Music out of London. Uh, improve your sight reading a piece a week. There are six levels. This is the early elementary. And this is really an interesting concept and I know I'm anxious to try it with a couple of my students that have some issues. It's not really sight reading. These pieces, the idea behind these pieces is to learn one piece each week so that the students are constantly having to process new notation in a comfortable time frame. You look at it more often, you discover new things more often, so you'll become less nervous and able to deal with sight reading um, a little faster. So, the very first pieces in this are definitely five finger, but you have dynamics to look at, you have maybe accents, rests. There are both classical pieces and contemporary new compositions in these books. So here's the very first piece. to the end of the book, they're a little more difficult. Um, they also have activity pages where you have to go back and find things in some of these pieces to look at them even closer. So this piece ends with a C in both hands. Every note is staccato in which piece? So digging in a little bit, um, there are crossword puzzles and word finds. But when you get to the end of this, Book, you've got hands together, you have some eighth notes, and shifting your hands just a little bit. to level three, which is late elementary, just to give you an idea. You have ants and aardvarks, so you've got the little screen ants and the aardvarks in your left hand. is late intermediate level six by now you're getting into some real pieces and having to do some rubato and retards and really digging in a little bit more intricacies. And we end all of these levels with the big finale.
a look at these. Improve your sight reading a piece a week. I'm going to start this session uh, now with sheet music. Publishers are getting away from sheet music a little bit, unfortunately, but FJH has really stepped up this year and we have a lot of new solos from FJH. Early elementary, Emily Lynn has a piece, Smiling Selfie. I think the kids are gonna love this piece. They can identify with the title. They all take selfies. They love taking selfies. This is an expressive piece. It has dynamics, legato, staccato. Um, it'll be fun. <laughs> on the future when scientists have created tiny adoptable dinosaurs. And this dinosaur is so hungry and it goes on to talk about this dinosaur and oh my gosh, he needs food and the chef saves the day and the dinosaur gets all the food he needs. Remember this is in the future when you're listening to these harmonics. dinosaur party. Jean Costello has come out with Little Panda Popo, a late elementary piece, I think both um, young and your older students are going to enjoy this piece. Set in that uh, oriental type mode, requires some ledger line reading and legato pedal. piece. It's quick, it's exciting, it's in the key of E minor. Left hand staccatos in an ostinato, right hand plays in the bass clef. Easy to learn.
elephant stampede just keeps on going and going all the way to the very end. Moving into the intermediate solos, Julianne Ballard has written Daydreams, a warm, harmonic texture with left hand broken chords. You have the A section in A minor in 3-4 time, which switches over to 4-4 four, four time in A major. Imagine a cottage on a lake in the moonlit night. That's what you have going on here. It's an impressionistic piece. Teenagers and adults are both going to love this one. of Rachmaninoff. Um, sensitive, artistic solo. You have to have some careful voicing. The left hand has the melody, both crossing over and in the bass clef. Mountains, a Judy East Wells intermediate recital suite. Um, I've said this at many of the workshops I've done before, but if you haven't heard, you can do this as a huge sonata of sorts, or you can do each piece individually, doesn't matter, but they always are composed so that you have many styles within one suite. 
And you can't go wrong five pieces for $5.50, right? So this captures the beauty of the Appalachian Mountain Range um, in the five movements. We start with a waltz with long lyrical lines, and it's the skyline drive. <laughs> So I will start um, partway into this to give you the waterfalls effect. <laughs> Another David Karp in the intermediate level has a touch of modernism to it. Polytonal chords with a cheerful little melody. C minor with a contrasting C major section. It's really an artistic study of phrasing um, and legato pedaling. Gorgeous piece. <laughs> Thank you. 
Premier has another recital suite series, Autumn Sketches. Yes, it's coming sooner than we want. Um, this is intermediate to late intermediate. There are four pieces in this suite. Farewell to Summer has both 4-4 four, four and 3-4 meter signatures. You have a variety of accompaniments with blocked chords, with arpeggios. So here is our farewell. that we find abundantly around. Festival Rag. And Martha ends with falling leaves, and you have all of these descending scale lines. I will start in the middle of the piece. You just see them fluttering down. The last sheet today is another recital suite series, a late intermediate by Twin Cities composer Wynne Ann Rossi. Winter Illuminations, we've passed the autumn now. Jazz harmonies inspire a lot of what Wynne Ann does. Sometimes you never know where she's gonna end up. Um, you have the Lydian mode in this suite. You have 5-4. So here we go, Snowfall Prelude. by the fireplace maybe with some hot chocolate.
And being in Minnesota, you have to be gliding on the ice, hopefully not falling down. But she has graceful eighth notes throughout this whole thing. This is in 5-4. with North Wind Takata. Uh, this goes super fast. When Anne, I might not take this quite up to tempo, but it'll be close. <laughs> Enough of sheets, let's go to some new books. Really a lot of fun new books. We're gonna start at the, for the beginning student with the best of Mary Leaf. If you have not used her works, she has some wonderful, wonderful solos. Um, they all have optional duets. Most of them have lyrics. So it's going to appeal to all of your young students. Book one is early elementary to elementary. The very first song is Ladybug. Ladybug. sounds like with the accompaniment because it's gorgeous. Excellent duet accompaniments. Towards the end of the book we start doing just a little bit of hands together. Um, you've got accents and more dynamic markings and, and still duets, so it's fun. This is the Little Red Caboose. because it's fun, but it's also harder to play than the other one. Sorry. So you get the idea, you've got that rumble of the train going on. Piano Premier Express has come out with a new repertoire book awesome, awesome pieces. You do not have to be in the premiere series in order to use these books. You can use it as a supplement for any other method that you're using. Motivational music, a variety of styles. All of these pieces in book one are written by Dennis Alexander and Martha Muir. How can you possibly go wrong with that, right? They also have online audio access, as well as teacher duets written in. So here, with my limited capabilities, I'm going to play 
this orchestration for you. That one was called Starlight. By the time you get to the back of the book, you're adding hands together, some harmonic intervals. This one is called Scottish Plaid, and it's just a fun orchestral arrangement. Express repertoire. Level two gets into what all book twos get into, a little more chords. You have Pirates at Sea. Just again, wonderful, wonderful pieces by Dennis Alexander and Martha Meir. Book three. This starts to add some classics, along with any of the original pieces in here are by Dennis and Martha. But you have the New World Symphony. You have a jazz in the park. Fun little piece. Uh, marmalade rag. And then I want to just show you what the accompaniment looks like for a little box. Originals. Here is an original Missouri River ballad. Bartok, 
doesn't show up very often in some of these rep books. And then another rag by Dennis and Martha, Magnolia Rag. supplemental material. All right, we are going to move to FJH. Uh, sorry, we're not moving to FJH. We're moving to Randall and Nancy Faber. And their pre-time to playtime series, they've added some books, music from China. Some of these are original. Um, some of them are uh, folk songs from China, energetic dances, quiet folk melodies. In the primer, the students are going to meet a panda bear who kind of leads you through all of the books all the way to the end. There are activities, and I just want to show you They have a little picture tour of China. You have Chinese holidays, some of the cities and sites, folklore animals, dance, sounds. It really is teaching them about China. You have a C major scale. Let's play that. Ooh, now you have a pentatonic scale. What's that? So right away, this is playtime level one you're going to learn about the pentatonic scale and do a little improvisation. And then we're going to find out a little bit more about this pentatonic scale. And we're going to get into some pieces using that scale. such fun activities in these books also. I also have with me the Big Time series, which is level four. You are still learning. You're learning about the panda and more pentatonic scales and little exercises and theory having to do with this. And then there's a song called The Panda. Here is the introduction to the giraffe. You have D major scales. What does 2-2 two, two mean? Little activities. And then we get into performance tips. Two-note slurs, three-note slurs, drop into the first note. They have all of these little teaching hints along the way. Masterwork or Museum Masterpieces series. These two books are two new books that preclude the ones that she's already written. 
Book A is elementary to late elementary. And if you have not seen these, you are missing out. In the middle of each book, she has pictures of the paintings that she's using in her pieces. It's fantastic. It really, these, these are some of my favorites. Um, here is Napoleon crossing the Alps. And you'll hear the music go up and up and up as he and his horse are crossing those elves. And there are also some optional duet accompaniments in this book. Here's Feeding the Ducks. Masterpieces book B is late elementary to early intermediate. And the first one I have here is from the famous masterworks or a famous painting, Fisherman at Sea. You'll hear the little crow up at the top. community easy cool cats songs about cats I know you have some students that are crazy about cats these are jazzy solos for late beginners here is a piece called simply perfect Stop piano lessons, we have 
pieces for one hand. Joyce Grill has done some, uh, Melody Bover has done some, and Chrissy Ricker has also done some. Hit singles, you can use either hand for any of these pieces, which is awesome. She has some fingering written in uh, from time to time for both hands. Here is Don't Be Blue. doesn't it? Carolyn Setliff. Um, some beautiful, beautiful poetic poems set to music. They are all in ABA form. And there's always a little bit of a poem at the beginning, full of grace, stepping lightly, full of grace, smooth as silk, at a perfect pace. <laughs> sunbeams. Sunbeams glisten from on high, shining forth from the blue sky. Into the trees they dance and dart, light without a sound. community. He has some elegant solos in the intermediate level called Lyric Moments. These also are very lovely. Um, we have City of Lights. Very playable, very readable. Thank you. 
need to be narrow things down, but I think your girls are really going to like that. Teenage girls will love that. Okay, Philip Cavern. Always, always working, always writing. Circles. Character etudes in 24 keys. And I'm going to read you a little bit of his introduction. They are all character etudes. They explore all 12 major and minor keys. Look around, the earth circles the sun in 12 months. The clock is neatly divided into 12 hours. The harmony of music gives us 12 major keys and 12 minor keys. And the harmonic motion flows naturally in a circle of fifths. The calendar months provide the inspiration for each composition. Keep in mind that the experiences of Philip's life are colored by where he grew up on the circle of life we call Earth. As a native of the Northern Hemisphere, January conjures up memories of winter. Had he grown up in the Southern Hemisphere, January would be intertwined with summer recollections. So we start in the key of C major. Each etude is titled Etude in whatever key. This one is C major. And it also has a subtitle. This is New Beginnings. We're in the new year. Or there's a kite dance and here is spring song in the key of A major. Sunset sail, and guess where I'm going to stop? There were some autumn songs, but I'm not stopping there. We're going all the way to sleigh bells. <laughs> inspired by Spain. And she talks a little bit about each piece and what was the inspiration of those pieces. Um, this is an intermediate level. The first piece is about the grandest city in Spain, Granada. Thank you. 
have that Spanish flair, all a little bit different. Then we have the home of Picasso, an elegant city on the coast with lots of sun. So here is our bullfight. Impressions of Spain by Mona Regino. Dennis Alexander last year came out with two books of nocturnes, and if you have not seen them, they're spectacular. Nocturnes are probably my favorite. Um, but this year, he has two new books of Toccatas. So fun. Um, book one is Early Intermediate to Intermediate. He says that in writing these toccatas, his goal was to motivate students to build speed and agility over a wide range of the keyboard. Um, you have the opportunity to demonstrate dexterior, dex, dexterity combined with musicality, characterization, taking command of the instrument. I honestly think I need to give this to one of my students who everything she plays is slow. We need to get her moving a little bit. So thank you, Dennis. Thank you. 
Here is, he, he has a little bit of Spanish too, Tocada Espanol. but they're all so different. Some of them are very fast, some of them are slow. So your interpretation of them is very different from one piece to the next. Intermediate to late intermediate. And they are just labeled by the key they're in. So we have waltz in D major. is unique. She's done everything from the rumba to uh, you know your Latin pieces and you've got Americana and a lot of what she does has some jazzy overtones um, in her pieces. Sometimes there's polytonal. You never quite know exactly where she's going to end up. Here is the Sun Dog Rainbow. Sun dogs, they're kind of fun. Okay, here is a ragtime. Remember, you never know where she's going to end up. Another one. Martha Mir. We can't 
to ever go wrong with Martha Meir. Uh, character pieces in romantic style. This is book three of the series that she has written. The very first piece in here is called Agitated. They're all different. Lyric pieces are meant, um, meant for the student to really get into them and figure out what the story is behind it. Well, we all know what agitated means. So here is Agitated. that we're doing. I have six videos. Pick and choose what will help you in your teaching or in your church playing or whatever. Um, if you are watching this, you know that in the fall we always have a 20% discount in our stores. Come on in and visit us. We miss you. Give us a call. We do curbside pickup. Uh, for those of you who only order online, I have a secret code for you. If you type in Expo 2020, you will also get that 20% discount. So take a look at some of these new issues. There's some fantastic things. And I hope some of this got you excited for the fall in whatever way you may be teaching. So enjoy and thank you again for joining us.